Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Um, what I'm going to be doing is, uh, uh, I don't have all my, uh, my leather working tools. I left them in the States. And uh, so now I need to uh, do some leather craft. So um, what I'm going to be doing is uh, we'll be using basic tools. I'm not going to go buy a whole bunch more stuff, so what I'm going to do is just, just go down to the very basics on what you need to do. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a magnet holster. There's, there's the magnet, and right here is uh, the, the leather I'm going to be making, that I'm going to be using, and all I need is just one little piece, so uh, I'm going to use my my trusted cutter and just go on and uh, cut a piece and then we'll we'll be ready to start okay what I what I did was I cut a chunk of leather off and it just happened to be a, a triangle and uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to try to make it work and uh, so I've been playing with it. I got it wet, put it in some water, so I can move it around. And now what I'm thinking is uh, I'm gonna make it so uh, the belt can come through there, so I can make it for a belt. Put a stitch in here. And a couple stitches there and a couple stitches right there. And then uh, I'll go on and after I get it sewed, I'll go on and cut it right there. And then we'll measure, see how much the belt needs to be there. And then I can go on and stitch it up on top and cut that. I'll have to cut that this piece off right there. But what I was originally what I thought I was gonna do is make it so I could take the, the magnet out and use it in other things. But now what I'm thinking, if I can put it in this leather case and what I'll end up having to do is yeah I'll, I'll cut that and uh, make it so I can put a belt through there but also I'll probably have to put some holes and in there and that's so then I can uh, lash it on to a backpack or uh, uh, you know I got the harness uh, where I carry my weapons, um, put it on, the, be able to lash it onto the harness, and then I say what what the, what the idea is is I should be able to uh, any of the the metal wherever I could hook this on, then I should be able to put the the metal stuff on there too, and use it as a holster or a sheath. I be, should be able to put it on, uh, hook a machetes to it, uh, tomahawks, uh, I put just about any metal, metal object, hook it on my belt or have it on my uh, backpack and uh, so I can just stick it on, stick it off. But, uh, I think that's what I want to do. I want to do some more thinking on it and do some figuring and then uh, we're going to go. But this is a stick. Still looks like the way to go. Uh, now one thing that has been brought to my attention now, what I believe what you're going to need in your uh, uh, bug out bag and utensils, I think what you're going to be needing is the needle, 
that we use for uh, the leather craft. And uh, this is some uh, nylon string with wax coated. Uh, same thing, got it at the leather shop. Uh, so I think this is something you probably want to put in your, uh, your bug out bag if you have to do some repairs. Also, uh, I got a, a nail. I'm not going to, normally what I do is I use a drill and I'll drill holes. You can use a punch. And like I say in my all my gear, I've got all the stuff to do it, but I don't have my gear. So but now what I'm going to do is just use a nail and just hammer the nail to make the holes. And uh, so that's what that is. And then I'll be using the the needle to uh, sew it up. And then so these are things that you you may want to add to your. Uh, your uh, getaway bag so you can do some instant repairs and uh, probably wouldn't hurt to throw in a, a little bit of that, uh, leather with you so you have some stuff to work with but uh, well I say so I'm gonna be down to the basics here okay uh, now what I'm doing is, like I say, the, the leather is wet, so uh, what I'm doing is I'm kind of forming it. And uh, so I'm kind of stretching it around the magnet. And uh, this is all so kind of thin, thin the mag, the leather, so it'll get a better, better uh, grip. Now we got it, so it's, see that's what I'm thinking, is I'm going to put a, I'm going to put, put a hole right here and a hole right there, and then put my stitch across there to hold it. And then uh, I'll go on and cut it, right about right there, and cut that piece right on off. We'll do that. We're going to do corner to corner. Now we're going to start sewing. Uh, wanna... Let's do it back here first. Not a, not necessary to have a point on your needle, but it is, it makes it easier when you, uh, when you're looking for holes. holes through there. Now what I'm going to do 
they got the different size of nails. I'm going to put this one on the end. And this is going to hold, hold it there while I go back. And then uh, put these other holes in here. Okay, I'm not sure how many of these holes I'm going to be using and uh, the problem is the belt, I, I wanted it firm but it looks like when the belt fits on there, as skinny as it's going to be, it looks like there might be a little bit of a, a movement to it. I don't know if it's going to make any difference or not, so, but we'll find out. Uh, the next one I make might probably have to be bigger and so there's more room grabbing onto the belt. But I keep a lot of stuff on my belt. That's why I wanted something small that'll stay, won't take up much room on my belt. But anyway, there's that. And then now I'm going to go on and uh, get it sewed. And then uh, we'll figure about how much needs to be cut off. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a different kind of sewing this, this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to loop the thread over it. What I was thinking before I was when I was getting ready to do this I thought well you know uh, what's going to happen is this might want to dig into me so uh, what I'm going to do is run the thread around it and uh, this way it might be less that's going to be digging into me and as you can see we're running out of leather on that side so we may not need that that hole we we'll just have to play it by ear and see what happens. That's the good thing about working with leather, is it's not an exact science. Okay, now like I say, we're gonna try it a little different than I normally would. Also, you remember I used a small nail on that hole. That was probably a screw up. Let's see, pull it around. Okay. Okay, I got it uh, got it all finished. There it is. Ah, uh, guess. And then, uh, let's say you can put your, put my tomahawk on there. When I need it, I got it. Uh, so that'll work for the tomahawk. Probably wouldn't suggest something that small because it'll probably fall off, get knocked off. But it is an option. And then, like I say, so. works. I guess it's going to do the job. Uh, I'm getting ready to do some uh, some experimenting with uh, other hand tools, and so that's why I needed something that, that's going to hold them. And, uh, and then uh, same thing. for the gun. Yeah. Definitely convenient, <laughs> that's for sure. 
seemed kind of dangerous, but uh, well, I guess if you want fast, easy access. It'll work. Okay, uh, what I'm fixing to do is uh, I, I love this tomahawk that I have, but my tomahawk is made strictly for combat. I, I had it made for combat, and that is exactly what it's good for. Uh, but, like I say, I have used it for other purposes, and I, I like the idea of a tomahawk. Um, I'm going, uh, I'm getting another, uh, I'm getting more heads, uh, different styles, and uh, I'm also going to start using different handles. And uh, now mine won't, I can't change handles on that, uh, but I will be on some other ones. And uh, that's why uh, I was needing some kind of a, a way to uh, carry them. And I'm not much of a, of a on, on having it on the sheath. Uh, I mean, when I use these these things, I want to be able to use them, and that's why I like the the magnet uh, holster kind of thing that I that I made up. And uh, uh, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be changing handles. Uh, I want short handles, be more like like a hammer, use it like a hammer, and then one that's you know halfway between uh, my combat hawk and uh, and a hammer type use. Um, uh, maybe it would work better as uh, an axe or, like I say, uh, a camping tool. So uh, that's why I will be doing some uh, experimenting with handles. And, uh, but like I say I needed some way to uh, make my uh, hawk where it, I could have accessibility to it. And that's why I wanted to make the, the leather uh, holster to hold it. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's why I wanted to uh, uh, get this project going and get it done. And uh, now I want to start on on handles, see what I can do. All right, this is Mike, nostressmike.com.